Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. It's Thursday, and you know what that means. Everyone loves Hey Babes! Now Scissor Man! <laughs> hey babe. Hey, 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 look at that. Doing? The champ is here. I, I honestly <laughs> think that that should just be the intro. Of that. I, and we don't ever have to sing songs anymore. I was going to say, do you want to actually move on and evolve this show from the songs to that is it? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Let's do it. Because it's getting harder and harder <laughs> yeah, for us anyway. We're running out of songs. <laughs> I love that. Do you, do you mind? Play, we'll play it at the top of every yeah. episode from now on. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, this, come on. We get a Bowen's intro. Dude, I know you felt this already, but the heaviness, the weight of this it's unbelievable like, unbelievable do you own belts sal like I, that, right i was gonna i was gonna turn before i answered and say i wanted you to guess if i owned but i was of course, gonna say it's yes a, it's a leading question <laughs> loaded question. i do own i do own belts right my most recent belt purchase was the white intercontinental uh wwe belt but that was that was years ago i haven't bought a belt in a while and i have news for you we don't talk about that here <laughs> that's right yeah, they well, i got news for you <laughs> i got news for you i'm gonna make another purchase <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah i am because this is for sale actually this is actually for sale this is a customized belt now correct me if i'm wrong that is the real belt. That is thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. That costs four thousand dollars to make. To make what? To American make, or to Canadian? Make. American <laughs> hard cold Now that exact belt, not a replica. That exact belt that he wears. They made ten of them for sale, and they're on sale right now. There's like a half of them left. Are now, you going to get one? I don't know if I'm going to buy it at that price point, just because it is the it, it is you know like a used Kia Sportage. Do you get any of the money on the belt? <laughs> I get the, yeah, I get oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I'll just give you, like, I'm just handing some money. Later. Yeah. <laughs> can, can we Venmo you and you get us a belt? Wait, Sal, can I put this on you? Yeah, please. Yeah. I, I, Strap it on. I, if it even fits I, me. He's been, yes. That's what we normally do. Um, does oh, it fit? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold I, mean, on. I, I mean, I could help. I'm getting, yeah. yeah, yeah let yeah. me get it. So, I will buy the replica version of this for sure. I you got it on? I, I don't know, but it feel, I feel like a champion. There it is. There it it looks okay. Right. So now, so now, here you go. It's on. It's on. I'm, I'm even wearing this. It's shirt. on, and you feel it. And do you remember? That's it, Daddy ass. This is what. This is the weight you were carrying around before you started Factor. <laughs> before you started eating Factor meals, this is what it was. You were wearing. Championship belt. You were wearing a tag team championship belt of weight. That's it, dude. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. It's a look. It's a look. Like is it if a vibe? you if you came in if you came in with this is the look. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> this is great. Oh hey, hey Sal! Guys, how you doing? Hey, wow! Oh wow! Hey, What's going on? dude! Yeah. You look. I had to put on. My, you got a haircut. That's all it is. Huh? It looks fantastic. Oh, <laughs> you look thin. You look. You. I, if I'm gonna be honest with you, you look like. Oh. And I'm and. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. You you literally and yeah. this is this is the utmost compliment. What's up? You look like a gay black man. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that, 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 I mean, I, I feel like I I own this though. Not not own it like do. it's mine you now. Don't. I just mean like I feel like I am I'm, I'm I'm wearing the belt. The belt's not wearing me. Exactly. Well. Sure, sure, sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you should be more specific the first time. Because you know what? So. Sometimes people the tat they're not wearing tattoos, the tattoos are wearing them. Yeah. Your that belt is a part of you. I think I mean, it should be fashionable. I'm, You're part of your fashion. I win this. If I win this belt, I'm you. I'm going to the del the store like this. I'm oh. going to the bank like this. L let it be known. I'm not I'm taking it to the bank. I'm making a deposit. Yeah. And everyone's gonna take note because <laughs> I'm I'm wearing this to the movies. I'm wearing this to ever. I'm wearing it to the. I'm wearing it to the gym. I don't take this off. I would shower with this. Yeah. I would take off my shirt, take off my pants, and I have you done it. I have not shown the leather. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the leather. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I would put like a nice leather uh, protecting on it, and then I would take a nice hot shower with it on. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to take that off for airport security. Nah. No way, dude. You well, see? they take it out every time. No what? way. Because there's so much metal. They th I don't know what they think it is. And what do you they, have to do? You have to explain yourself? I have to stand there, and then everyone stares at me, and then yeah. they're like, whoa, I'm the champion. Can I? And uh, every photo. time. Right. Every time. So I have to always fact 
when I win a title, I have to factor in an extra maybe 15 minutes no to go through way. security just to wait for the bag and the belt to be checked. All right. But, what can but you it do? feels it feels it feels like it like I you know. Honestly, dude, you look like you look like what a wrestler is supposed to look like to me. You got the you you got the vibe, you got the energy. I bu- I buy this. Well, he routed off a list of great gimmicks that he can do, and I'm I'm a fan of all of them. Yeah, the TSA guy. <laughs> yeah, Joe gave me shit. <laughs> oh, this yeah. Is what amazing. would Sal? Did, did we discuss what like your move would be? Did you guys discuss that already? Uh, I had written up some fake ca- some characters, and one was a, T- a, a TSA guy. You, that okay? That would be your wrestling. And his, well, his finishing move was the full body cavity search. <laughs> Right, you know, it's sort of like that. We we, I like that. we 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 ruminated on this in the last one. I like that, but uh, I'm just gonna, if you don't mind, absolutely, uh, I'm just gonna sit with it for Go a little ahead. bit. Let me ask you a question, Anthony. How are you? How are your feet? My feet? Chris? Do you have good feet? Um, are we talking the aesthetic of the feet or the, how how they feel health wise? Take you... take me through. Take me through. Does a prescription? You know, you I honestly <laughs> feel like I'm seeing better. <laughs> Is this okay? What do you think about this for me? It lo- I mean, it looks it looks like you shot JFK or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly th- I I feel like I can see. But why aren't they going behind your ears? I have a very setback ear. Okay. I glasses don't really fit me too well because my ears are very so set. So what do you do about that? I have to get custom-made glasses with very long arms because my ears are set too far in the back of my head. Have you thought about plastic surgery? For my ears? Yes. To, get in, to move my ear up? Shift them forward. I've never thought about it. I've never thought about it. But if they, for me, I would only get a surgery if my life depended on it. If the doctors say, if you move your ears up, you'll get another five years, and I would move my ears up. I would do it. I, right. To be fair, I never noticed they were set back. And- yeah. Oh, yeah, look. See, that this is a problem. A lot of times glasses go like this on me because actually one of my ears <laughs> is closer to my eyes than the other. I have, my ears are a little off kilter, as they say. Okay. Now, <laughs> back to my feet. <laughs> Do you have, because I always want, because I've been dealing with a heel injury. That's why I'm wearing sneakers like this. You see I'm wearing chunky sneakers. See these chunky yeah. sneaks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are people. Bit- are those are fashionable. Are yeah, those but fashion- people are on the fence about them. Ooh, Even in my family, they're on the fence. I haven't seen mm. those. You like those? I like those. I like those, and I like those on you. I like that. So people are people are on the fence about these. It's a but chunky I, shoe. Chunky. It's a big, chunky dirty. shoe. Yeah, look, I'm wearing chunks. Yeah, chunky shoes are in. Chunky shoes are in. Yeah. You know, either men with heel problems or girls in the Soho house. They wear chunky shoes. Right. And <laughs> I have a heel issue, an Achilles heel issue, and it's so. Um, it's so like demoralizing of an injury to deal with a heel injury because it just, no matter what you do, it hurts. So have you ever had to deal with a foot injury and what did you do for it? Um, a foot injury. The only one off the top of my head was the first night I've ever trained for wrestling and a ring post fell on it and I thought I broke it. And then what? I had to train for three hours with a, no it way. was just ballooned up. So I just iced it and I kept wrestling though. What's an injury that you've dealt with? Uh, <laughs> Tore my meniscus, tore my MCL and meniscus, uh, bruised nerves in my back, tooth kicked through my lip. Tooth kicked through your lip? I got drop kicked and my tooth went... Anything serious? I mean, it was the knee surgery. (laughs) 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 Um, But... uh, That's crazy, man. That's off the top of my head. You you know a baseball player. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so you, uh, yeah. Cuz didn't you did you play baseball? I didn't I, play basketball. I played I played baseball in 6th grade. 6th to 8th grade. CYO right. shout out coach right. Charlene. Hey, me too. I had a female coach in 6th to 8th grade, a female baseball coach. Yeah, I had huh. a female basketball coach. Really? Yeah. Back in in the 90s. 89. Which wow. is unheard of back That's then. That's progressive for yeah. the late Well, 89. nobody wanted to coach us in my friend's mom. <laughs> <laughs> <Mom tiered. laughs> was he? Was you that think? possible lesbian? <laughs> no, it's my friend's mother. <laughs> really? <Yeah>. So, <laughs> possible lesbian? <laughs> possible lesbian. Were we talking about that? Is that the name of the episode? Possible <laughs> lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> How accurate do you think you could be? On guessing lesbian? Yes. I think lesbian is much easier to guess than gay man. You do? I think I think I can sniff out a lesbian. I I, I but because well okay not bi. You mean like a good old fashioned like when we were growing up like a you know just a a, like a, 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 a woman who really could take care of herself. Like for example, my gym teacher, my gym teacher in grammar school, we knew she was a lesbian because she looked like Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat, and we would she would turn around. And we would, <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> and she would turn around and we would go and, and we would go Lu Kang <laughs> that's what she looked like yeah that one go up a little bit Pippi right there in the right there that one she had hair like Lu Kang <laughs> so she was a les. <laughs> les. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh. Allegedly. Oh. Allegedly. Yes. Oh. We got to oh, do one. That's when you're not quite sure. That's when you're not quite sure. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Send us people in your life who are allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to heybaypod at Gmail or no press shop. We what should do it? a no segment. We should do an allegedly segment. Let's do an allegedly segment. Yeah. We you bring never know. Who, I mean, look, anyone can be gay. Anyone can be straight. It's not like that. But because uh, we'll get some curveballs, you know. 100%. Yeah, many people think Why I'm don't we gay. have the fans? I'm What's not, the email? Most people uh, think I am, actually. Is it nopressionetwork at gmail.com? Really? Yeah. really? Yeah, is that what it is? I think because we posted whole, my it. My whole career in public. I think it's nopressionetwork at gmail.com. This is a new segment that we'll play here on Hey Babe. Here, hold on. I think she sent it. Uh, hold on, Venet. Okay, so email... Possible lesbians to no pressure network <laughs> at gmail.com. And each week we're gonna we're gonna take a shot at allegedly the game where we guess if they're a lesbian or not. Uh, Send them in and Venetia and Homeless Pimp and the rest of the great Anthony co-signs it, so we're fine. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Um no I do um, have a good gaydar though. Yeah, it does yes. hurt. Well, well actually no, I don't. Well, what is a lesbian yeah. radar? It's still a gaydar. Yeah, it's yeah, still, still a yeah, yes, 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 yes. So um, I think I do too. Uh, did, did they hurt you? Are you good? No, I just I thought that I saw better with them, but when I've taken them off, I realize I see better without them. Okay. Just like when I wear sunglasses, like when I wear sunglasses when I'm driving, I don't really feel like I'm connected. I don't feel like I'm. I know. When I take them off, I feel like the whole world has opened up for me. When I have them on, it's I don't like. The shade, darkness of it. Yeah, if I have to really see something like an address, I take them off. You know when you lower the radio to see an address? Yes. I, I do the same thing with sunglasses. <laughs> right. Can you put those back on for one second? Oh, yeah. If I walked into the doctor's office and you were the doctor and you were wearing those, I would immediately walk back out. Because my ears are too Something back? Something suspect about it. <laughs> because of the glass? Because yeah, it's the, my, my It might ears. be the size of my glasses on you, but something right now screams to me, something's a little off. Maybe not trust me. One. Yeah. I kind of like them, though. Yeah? You like that? I, I kind of like them. Right. What do you think of my sneakers? Are they too chunky? No. I'm not a big New Balance fan, so that's probably the only thing I don't like. Okay. But otherwise, I like them. Okay. You, you I, I was, lot, I was especially getting... Especially in Los Angeles, there's a lot of chunky shoes and a yes. lot of different styles. So yeah. I'm, uh, I was not? getting abused by my family uh, yesterday and today because what? of my because well, of the chunkiness of my Did you pick those out alone? Well, what are they saying about it? They were just saying, you know, you know, Jasmine was saying, oh, my God, you look so white. I was like, since when has this been an issue? <laughs> <laughs> she kept saying, you look so white. You look like a nerdy white guy. She was like, you look like your father. And she said, you look like you're wearing high heels. And I said, honestly, I feel like I'm wearing high heels, and I like that. It's only because they're New Balance. That's what it is. I feel like is. New Balance is a very white... I think they're associated with something like that. I mean, I, I, I have, I'm a sneaker guy, so I have tons of sneakers. I have my share of New Balances. I don't have that. I have. A, you like these though? You would consider these they, in they the look, store? Because right now I'm getting to a stage where it's com a comfort over. I don't give a shit. Yes, minute, right? same with me. So Absolutely. if I put those things on and they make my feet feel like, uh, you know, like I'm on a cloud or like I'm 30 years younger, I'll wear those things. I don't care what they look like. What? But, but you did pick those out alone. I did. You were alone. What I will tell you though yeah. about these is I've been wearing them. Pretty consistently for the last 48 hours, my heel pain has went from an 8 out of 10 to about a 5 out of 10. The Whoa. way you walk in a shoe, like this type of shoe, this New Balance shoe, because it's a bit elevated and it has arch support, it's everything. If you have a, you got to get a Dr. Scholl's foot insert and put it in your sneaker if you're not going to get chunky New Balances to align your foot. Wow. Because I, that will destroy your foot. That's So now we want to pick one up. I want to pick a pair up. Do they have any that don't look like two snowmobiles? <laughs> <laughs> That's the issue. <laughs> that's the issue. Winter's coming up, though, Chris, so you're good. It, yes. Well, that's the thing. The, the grip I have on steps, I will never fall down the stairs with these, and I've been known to fall down the stairs weekly. I will never fall down the stairs with these. They grip on the It's a hiking shoe. This is a hiking I'm shoe. I'm sold. Yeah. I'm and already these are sold. Express jeans, and this is a Zara shirt. <laughs> I actually... <laughs> these are Zara shoes. <laughs> my fit? 30, 36, 30. And I, and I also went on a, I went on a spree from oh, Zara. Oh, wow. it out unless I want to sponsor. Um, are they a sponsor? No, I'm saying oh. blur it out unless they want to <laughs> oh, sponsor. Oh, all right. All right these yeah. are from Zara. So, see? Wow. Yeah. See, that's the thing nowadays. You know, I've also gone to the point... I think all three of us are in the same room. I've pimped too. All four of us is that we... 
I am now over the fact, like, it doesn't need to be designer or name brand. I just want it to be comfortable, and I want to like the way it looks. I don't care anymore if it's the latest Jordan 1. I don't care at right. all. Like, I'll get a sneaker from Zara, no problem. I'll wear, I, I almost picked up a pair of shoes. You know where my, my daughter had to get, you know, you go Catholic school shopping for the yeah. shoes, and they have, stride like. Stride right? Stride, I am, not stride Tom right. McCann. No, the. Um, oh, the place on Richmond Terrace? Yes. That we went to as kids? Yes. Oh, what? That's still there? That's still there. So my kids get their shoes. Well, you get the uniform shoes? You get the uniform shoes. I almost picked myself up a pair of uniform shoes. That would be really funny, <laughs> Just dude. because they were comfortable. <laughs> those grammar school Catholic uniform shoes? <laughs> yeah, because oh, those the are... guy said, you, you, you won't imagine, you won't believe how comfortable they are. I said, let me see. And then I put them on, and it literally feels like you don't even have a foot. It feels like you're just <laughs> like you're like it's just perfect. Two stubs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels. Did you put your foot in that like silver like measuring yeah. device? Yeah, I haven't done that since I'm in grammar school either. Bro, how about a New Balance? They do it. They do it digitally now. They take like a 3D scan of your foot. They will not only if you go to New Balance store, the one in the Flatiron District, you put your foot in a machine, does it? Not only does it measure your foot and show you a, a digital composite of your foot, it tells you what New Balance shoe is best for your foot. Oh, that sounds like a genius. I, I don't know if I like idea. that. Yeah. That sounds like the whole AI thing. I don't want AI of my feet. Seriously. For New Balance. Yeah, well, now they got your feet. Your Forever. Feet, your feet are out there now. What do you think You're of the fucked. Mexican alien? Oh, God. Did you guys talk the about Mexican that already on Taste Buds? Oh, oh, oh. What do you think of that? Is it cake? Uh, they showed it. They showed no, but, they, but then there's a Mexican alien cake that somebody made. Yeah, I thought it, that was the same thing. No, no, no. No, no, no they were making... Oh, that was a joke. I thought that was a bogus picture and it turned out to be a cake. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no somebody made happened? a cake. No, they baked a cake to show how easy it was to replicate oh. that. Oh... Yeah. No, but I did see that, like, you know when you, something gets, like, tw tweeted, yeah. and underneath it, like, people, like, will rebut it, and they Wait. tag onto it? Right. Was it cake? No, they, they made this oh. cake quick, because to make cakes like that, you just got to get a digital 3D, like, printer, and then you can make it. So they just got a picture and made it. But no, the Mexican government, for realsies, oh. when, the thing is- But I, saw, I thought that was a hoax. No, the president of Mexico. That was the presidente. Pimp. Is Wasn't that, that was El Presidente? Hoax? I, I thought I read that people refuted it, and it was a hoax. If it's not, clear my afternoon. But <laughs> what? Yeah, but what about? But isn't this El Presidente of Mexico, who came out here? Oh, yeah, Mexican it was Congress. Mexican Congress. I haven't heard a follow up, but everyone's shitting on it. What about the alien guy, Jeremy? Uh, the guy from Limp Warbell? Biscuit. What's um, it? No, not from Limp Biscuit. From Blink One Eighty Two. <laughs> What's he from? What about Blink-182. The lead singer, or is he the lead singer, Pimp? Or one of the guys from Blink-182? Sorry, I'm wrong, wrong. Uh, Is one of the leading alien experts, like, literally gets tapped by the U.S. government, like, he is our guy. Come wait, on, what? On. Pimp, am I the making this the up? The lead singer of Blink-182. Am, <laughs> wait, 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 am I making this up? That sounds like a hoax. No, yeah, like, he's stepped up into a Fox Mulder yes, position. Yes, I'm not making this no. up. No. No, for real. Google it. No, 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 no. Google it. Of, Prove the, it! <laughs> the lead singer of Blink-182 Blink Blink is our leading Tom, alien expert. Name? Tom Holland. No, <laughs> Not Tom Holland. Is he really? Jeremy, Jeremy Corbell. No. No, it's Google. Google uh, Blink 182. <laughs> Blink 182, Tom Aliens. Yeah, it's Tom, right? Turns Aliens, Hunter. This is a shame. I should know this. Tom DeLong. Tom. Yeah, that's it. Became a UFO researcher. New York Times, so they're not making it up. Dude, it's real. And what did he say? I want to know what he said about he it. He said, sorry, I are wrong. <laughs> 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 sorry to tell you. United Era, you talk a UAP, yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what? So he doesn't do Blink-182? No, dude, he's all in on aliens. And he, if he said it's right, and, and <sighs> dude, the Mexican Congress, if they're, they said their bodies are a 1,000 years old, and the wild thing is, is they're saying what the new kind of theory is is it's not that aliens are in these faraway planets it's not that it's that they're in other dimensions, dimensions. so that they can appear and reappear because they it's all about interdimensional stuff not like it's a million years away so that means they live just amongst us immediately exactly like they could be living see th th this is what they had and they were little a thousand years old and they had three fingers wait hold on uh, that's what all the small things was about the little things yeah there you go <laughs> there you these go little aliens <laughs> <laughs> oh man Right? The, uh, welcome pause, to Mexico. Pause, 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 these pause, are pause. aliens. I got a lot to say. Okay, I got a lot to say. First of all, these are, okay, these are two of the most prized possessions that are in our physical human existence, okay? It's two alien life forms that are also 1,000 years old. 
they had to be probably protected and kept in a certain way, right? You tell me they just <laughs> wheeled them out in two <laughs> open boxes and propped them up for people to see? What about the air? What about the light? Like, these things are yeah. from another planet and a thousand years old. They, they put another them in dimension. filing cabinets that they found on the sixth floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's, literally, that's literally like the freaking container Look store. At Look at that. Uh, that's I mean, real. All right. So you don't think it's real. Uh, another thing. They're identical and they're only that tall. And th are they exhumed? Like, have they been embalmed? Like, or, or yeah, they're, or th they're very no. stiff. So yeah, supposedly, like supposedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> they mummified themselves somehow through their ancient alien technology. And it makes sense if they're a thousand years old because this correlates with all the ancient findings with the dead. pyramid. So that means they could die. Here, wait. And can you go back up, Pimpy? So these are not wonder, mummies. These are complete bodies that have not been manipulated. This is guys speaking under oath. They were found in Peru in 2017. Are estimated to be a thousand years old. One of the bodies was pregnant. One of the bodies out there fucking. No. One of those aliens was no, pregnant. No. Tracy Morgan boy, you pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Quip. Okay, babe. Let me tell you something. Brushing and flossing have gotten so much easier for me. I use Quip now. Okay, yeah. I'm done with my old toothbrush. I use an electric toothbrush and quip is the way to go dude quip first of all i love the way it feels on my teeth it's like a nice massage for my teeth for my gums they deliver all the oral care essentials right to your they it's like they're delivering them right into my mouth it really I, is i got gum mints i got uh toothpaste in them i got the travel brush the new one i would well, i'd use it for travel i should say at home i have a clunky clunky thing that yeah. i'm replacing now with quip and the thing is i never took that clunky one on the road with me right because it's clunky right but quip is like a regular toothbrush that dude. also have all, all the benefits of like an electric it's a dude call me for quip, me. Call me quip van winkle yeah i literally they have seven dollar replacement floss tips shipped to you every three months to keep things flowing smoothly and prevent mineral deposits from building up sleek and slim enough to keep your countertops as clean as your teeth Easy to control water flow that leaves you feeling squeaky clean, but only use it on your teeth, folks. You'll be tempted to use it elsewhere, but it's only for your mouth. The Quip electric toothbrush is loved by over 9 million mouths. That's a lot of mouths. Absolutely. So if you go to getquip.com slash hey babe right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's your 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser and getquip.com slash hey babe. That's at, sorry, at getquip.com slash that's G E T Q U I P dot com slash hey babe. Quip, the good habits company. Love it. Sal, I want to talk to you about German engineered blades that get delivered right to your door. You know I'm talking about hats. Harry's, yeah, okay, absolutely. and I'm not talking I'm talking about blades for your face, folks. Yeah. Okay. If you want a nice shave, okay, listen, there's a subscription for everything these days, right? Including shaving. You can get beef jerky subscription. Why not get Subscriptions for your face, okay? With Harry's, you get high-quality blades right to your door. This is what most guys are using. It's awesome. They have a trial. They have a, a, a smooth shave. A smooth shave should not be rough on your wallet. It really just shouldn't be a rough on your wallet. Sometimes it is. <laughs> I agree with you. I, and that's the whole point of this thing, right? It's yes. convenience and saving money. Mm -hmm. I, I have Harry's. I use Harry's. That's my blade. Okay. That, yeah. Really? Yeah. I have a beautiful orange blade that has a nice little bit of weight to it, and uh, a, a handle, and and I, I it's it's the closest shave, one of the closest shaves I've ever gotten. Right. And I, I actually like their foaming um, shaving cream as I well. I love it. I'm yeah. foaming at the mouth. I love the scent of it. Creams, I really washes, lotions, they keep your skin healthy, hydrated blades made in their own factory in Germany that stay sharp. They are sleek, ergonomic weighted handles that look great in your bathroom and give you precise control with each swipe. The highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry, peeps, and you can cancel the subscription any like time. It. It's a no-risk trial. So get a subscription that saves you time and money with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash heybabe. That's harrys, H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash heybabe for a $3 trial set. Love it. So... It's real. That's the thing. And I think the media, I think the media is is choosing to not make this a big so deal. So Mexican alien. Mexican alien. Trump's like, build a dome. Build a dome. <laughs> build a dome. That country's full of aliens. Always <laughs> have been. Uh, now huge. they're coming from other now they're coming from the skies. <laughs> Great Trump impression. <laughs> yeah. By the ball, I was, I've God. never <laughs> done one. <laughs> Until that, that moment. That was my first time ever. <laughs> I just went, what? Yeah. Wait, uh, so this is the second alien thing. Because there was the one in Vegas where the cop caught the on his body cam, it caught yeah. a streak coming from the sky. And yeah, that's where the kids saw it and, and said he froze and there was a circle in yes. the yard. Yep. Oh, we went in heavy on that. Oh one. yeah, we oh, went, okay. girl, we went in. 
We now, th- this is this is crazy because if they got here, you would think that they're more progressed than that. Than us, but like I just didn't think they would look like little ETs. But they're a thousand years old, and here's right. here's here's where it runs deep. Here's where Three the conspiracy runs deep. No, but here's where the conspiracy runs deep is that they're saying that this interdimensional stuff, and they reason because everyone's saying, well, it looks like ET, and they're saying that Hollywood is like a CIA is like part of the CIA, like the, the top Hollywood people. It's all intertwined. So what they do is in order to get it palatable. For the American public or the world public, what they'll do is they'll make movies about things and start to desensitize us for years and years and years until boom, they drop it. Like I, it, you know, we're all in our thirties, right? Or, or and, and I told, no. sorry, no, sorry, <laughs> he's a tween. So, so we're 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 in our thirties to sixties. So, so, so I, I, if you told us as a as if we when we were thirteen years old, if you told any of us, hey, the Mexican government is just announced that aliens are real. They had a press conference. Our minds would be blown. We would be running into the streets. There would actually be chaos and rioting because we'd be like, oh, my God. I told my 13-year-old stepson about this. He goes, I don't care. I always knew they were aliens because he's been desensitized. My 8-year-old right. didn't care at all. No, it would have been people running in the streets. But they're doing that this on happen. purpose. they slowly desensitizing it, and that's why the Hollywood... It's like they slow. It looks like ET because they saw this already. But they knew this already. What, the government what, showed this to them and said, "Make a movie that makes it look like that." Because we got that. How did they get it? Like, what, what ship are they driving? This, you still believe tall. him, Tom DeLonge? Th- th- what's going on? Okay, we found one thousand year old twin Mexican <laughs> aliens that are three feet tall and exhume themselves. <laughs> and the person who is the expert on it is the guy from No, Blink literally, Tom DeLonge. Tom DeLonge is is the leader. He is the leading alien expert. They're going to make him Secretary of Defense, and then My Chemical Romance is going to be Secretary of the Treasury. <laughs> I love My Chem. I support it. <laughs> and the new government. I Cindy also love the, the president. <laughs> I love the photo that they used of Tom. Where he's just, it's a rock star photo. It's not him like professional no, in, the, no, in the alien outfit. Yeah, like, just, like, no, because <laughs> because they want to they want to discredit. They want to make it look crazy. They want all this to be like there's no way this is happening because they eventually they're just going to say yeah they're here and then. It's not nobody's gonna care because we're already, you know, it's little sprinkles. Like right now, if I told you, you know, the government killed JFK and I and they went out and proved it, your day wouldn't change that much. You'd be like, Yeah, I've, I read 10 books that probably said it's true. Right. So they'll do things like that. And I feel like we're living in a time where they're just gonna or I mean, the, listen, Mexico is, you know, a, you know, it, it's a first world country. It, it is. They have a, a ton of money. Mexico is not that different than us. So they're for their Congress to be like. This is legit, but what that's are, crazy. So were they doing what essentially happened at the hearing that we had a few months ago? But like, what, so what was their end game? Just to be like, hey, we'll we want to join the conversation. We also, or were they like, can somebody help us out here? Like, <laughs> what is this exactly? I think that they just wanted to put their government decided. You know what? We're gonna we're just gonna put the information out there. I, I mean, this. They, I mean, if that's proved, in, if that's discredited. That is a huge hit to the Mexican government, no? Yeah, no. I mean, that's real. That, but nobody, but they, they, they wanted to. Nobody cares. It has, that thing has three fingers. How do they know it's pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they found cum dripping out. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't improve anything. <laughs> they found hay babe dripping out of it. <laughs> you gotta be that. Yeah, but hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they put hay, they found hay babe dripping out of it. <laughs> <laughs> alien, hey, babe. Alien. Imagine the aliens are working with the cartel. Oh my yeah. god! Dude. Uh, I don't. I'll believe anything now. That's the whole. These are the pe- That's actually gonna be the downfall of society. We just. I. We don't know what to believe or not. And, and the craziest things are true. So. I just said it. The lead singer of Blink One Eighty Two is the government's authority, dude. It, it, it is. It's one of those things. What's this now? This was it, the crazier UFO UFO story. We lost one of our fighter jets, and it's an autopilot somewhere over U.S. airspace. What? Where, where's the fighter? The F-35 was left in a zombie state. The uh, Oh, he had to eject, but the, the plane on AI is just flying around. Right now? Yeah. Oh, right now? Yeah, as of yesterday. Oh, it's, been, sh- it's been lost for... Wait, there's no pilot in that? Nope. Well, where, wait, Do where they have is to it? shoot it down? They've lost it. They don't know where it is. How do you lose it, though? Don't they track these things? I don't know. Maybe they didn't put Imagine an air tag comes in crashing it. through our studio right now. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> dude, there's no pilot in that? Uh, he hit DJ. Here, look at this. Right here. Okay. So we got two. So, okay. One of the most sophisticated jets in the world is missing as officials believe the F-35 was left in a zombie state after the pilot was forced to eject. Here's what we know. 
Two fighter jets were flying side by side when the incident took place. Oh. For unknown reasons, the jet's transponder isn't working. The okay. incident took place over North Charleston. The jet's range is 1,200 miles. However, it's not known how much fuel was in the jet at the time of the ejection. The search for the jet is now focused on Lake Moultrie, which is about 50 miles from North Charleston. 50 miles? That thing's going, <laughs> that, that thing's going 1,000 miles an hour. Well, it's swirling there. It keeps turning. Oh, is, and is it just going in a circle? I think it's running on like AI autopilot. I'm not sure what it's doing. That's not good for our government. Like you were supposed to be the most mighty military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like ISIS is looking at that. Like, these <laughs> yeah. these losers yeah, looking yeah, at their yeah. jet. I mean, literally, <laughs> like someone was like, "Oops!" Like, yeah. how does that even happen? Yeah. How does it even happen? They were flying side by side. We, have, an we have an unpiloted fighter jet that we can't catch on our own. That's operating. That, that, on, have on, you ever seen anything? It's like on that? AI. Imagine the AI turns. Right, you know that can happen yeah, with our cars. <laughs> no, you know that can happen with our cars. When you're driving a car, yeah. when you're driving your car, a plane, anything, at any moment, somebody could hijack that, just get into that, and then control that. I told you I had a CIA. I told you about this. The CIA agent that came on Chrissy Chaos he said the only thing that scares him that keeps him up at night. It's not World War Three. It's not nuclear terrorism. It's none of that. Th those stuff. U.S. has so much defense. He's it's saying, hacking in to the to our systems and like, what happened? This is the Two major Las Vegas yeah. casinos reeling following major ransomware attacks. This is where a CIA agent told me this is the thing that we are defenseless against. If anybody at any time Cyber wants to terrorism. hack you, that's where they're going to get you. And they could knock out the power grid and send us back to the Stone Age. And then he said, by the time we got the power up and running, you'd probably have 100 million, Ameri 100 million people worldwide dead. Because of just, you can't function. Right. Huh. I mean, I'd kill myself not having you know, Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the elevators were even shut off. That's scary. And the rooms like are all electronic. You're just kind of caught in it. Right. No. Yeah, nothing works. In Vegas. Yeah. Oh. And apparently I'll be there September 30th, Cosmo. <laughs> 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 Tickets and are not selling. Apparently, anyone who swiped their card at Caesars had their identity stolen, and they ran up credit card bills on people who just happened to stay Immediately. there. Immediately. Yeah. And, uh, but if you've ever stayed at one or like that weekend? I don't know. And previously, Caesars apparently paid off the hackers quietly. So this is like a second or third. Oh, because they held them. Mm. No way. That ain't right. And then they came back. There's got to be some type of uh, code of ethics here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm dead serious. If you, if you, if you, if you, you know, hold me, for, hold that for ransom, you get paid. You can't come back. Otherwise, no, no one's ever going to pay the ransom again. <laughs> Seriously. I'm not going to pay that ransom again. You never f ransom me once. Shame on me. <laughs> Shame on you. Ransom me twice. No way, bro. No way. Shut it down, Mike. Shut it down. It is true. I am, I am so scared of it that I have thought about taking every dollar I have out of the bank <laughs> and just literally putting it in like like fireproof suitcases and hiding it somewhere. Really? But where I'm not where even, would you I'm hide not even it? joking around. Like, like you just want to put cash in your walls? No, not in my walls. And even if I did, I wouldn't say that here. Crypto. That's where you got to go. <laughs> Crypto. I, eh. not, in, not in my walls or anything, but I, I'm, I'm not making a joke, though. I've thought about it. Like, do you think on the more banks, than one occasion I've thought about like, it? Like, digitally, you could be attacked and. Right. Well, I've had it happen I think you're to insured, me. though, up to a certain. I don't know what the oh, number yeah. is. What if, they, what if they hit a button and it deletes everybody? They're going to insure us all? Yeah, because that's the truth. The money in our bank account isn't really backed up by any gold. No. It's, none of it's real. It's just numbers. I right. was hacked once, my debit card. What really? happened? They took three grand from me uh, somewhere in Puerto Rico. Yeah. And then I had to go through the bank and had them. They refunded me and they got the money back for it. Interesting. I, I've been. Ha I mean, I've had those Puerto Ricans. They're tricky. <laughs> I, I have a family of them. I mean, you have to see the shenanigans they get. They get me involved in. <laughs> yeah. Those Puerto Rican programmers. <laughs> Um, I imagine it was my daughter. Did you steal money from Anthony? <laughs> like I gave it back, Dad. I, yeah, I don't trust anything, dude. Have, I, have I, you guys I, seen the new like viral rapper who's teaching kids how to do debit card schemes over his song? That's going. Apparently, it's very, very simple for these kids. Okay, no. Do oh, we have? Audio? I thought you were about to drop that beat. <laughs> <laughs> do we no. have audio of this? I mean, you want to check it out? It's, yes. it's crazy. Sure. Yeah, I want to be because you know. Too, like with our justice system right now, like you just can't go to like if you commit a crime, they just don't arrest you. And if they do arrest you, you just get out. You have to like really like murder someone. Anything else is like one of my neighbors said that um, their nephew stole stole a city bike, stole a city bike 
from someone, like pushed them off, stole it, went into a store. What? Yeah, I don't you know. You just got one. I don't know why. <laughs> pushed them off, stole it, got on the city bike, or the not the city bike, the, um, what are the ones? Oh, like, like the bird? Like no, the, but but the ones that you do, pimp, not, you don't pedal it. The electric bike, stole an electric bike, went into a grocery store, like beat up the clerk, like bashed his head, took the money. They found him. The cops found him, arrested him. He was out in 24 hours, out with just like a desk appearance ticket because he only stole 200 bucks. And anything, you have to steal over $1,000 for it to be grand larceny. Anything under is petty larceny. Yeah. And they don't care about you stealing the, I was like, Jesus. Yeah, man. Holy shit. It's, it's rough out there. We gotta go back. I don't want to go, I don't want to go back old school, like, you know, you know, beheading people, but I would like in a situation <laughs> like that. No, in a situation like that, yeah. a little bit like tar and feather someone. Yeah, a to- I don't want to kill anyone, but we jump, we dump tar on you, and we put feathers on you. Yeah, and then you're screwed for months. You're screwed months. Back in colonial times, that's what would make people stop in their tracks. I don't want to get tarred and feathered. Yeah, yeah. So I think bring back tar and feathering is an option. I get that I for like theft that. specifically. For theft in any type of like, if you're not going to get. Executed or put in prison, at least get tarred and feathered. <laughs> you know, yeah, sure. I mean, it's just an option. <laughs> sure. After this, I, Google tar and feathering. Is, is it, it works. Tar, is it tar hot? Hot tar. It could kill you. It could. Okay, so uh, so there's an element. I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to kill it's anyone. It's not just inconvenience. It's an element of pain because it's hot. Yes, yes, but you know, you can so walk that off. Scolded, but then it's drying on you. Yeah, and and they didn't have goo gone back then. No, can you Google? Wait, real are quick you feathered we'll for tar life after this? What's that? Are you feathered for life? Like here it is. So like here, here's tarring and feathering. <clears throat> so yeah, see somebody like that. You get, this guy got German American John Mainz got tarred and feathered during World War One for not supporting war bond drives. You gotta support those. <laughs> <laughs> see, go Google like put images like oh, colonial tar bad. and feather. Put colonial or yeah. Here we go. See these guys would get tarred and feathered. They but did it big paintings. in the American Revolution and the French Revolution. It, those are paintings though. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, oh, well, Jesus I mean, Jesus Christ! It was back in the day, but yeah, th- that guy, he had the scars and the feathers on him for life. So, you know, I just think that that's something. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like now when you when you take something and the blue dye explodes on you, it's yes. like our version, right? Of tar <laughs> blue and dye. Maybe, you know what they should do now? Get, that'd be funny if they, it just exploded with tar and feathers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> right in the store. Yeah. Like you're trying, to, <laughs> you're trying to walk out with like a windbreaker. <laughs> Boosh. <laughs> then they just let you go. Yeah. Because you're walking out like a, like a, like a chicken. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let's go to this famous scammer. Tommy G. How to write a dump? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Today we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes Can only. Can you pause that so one you- second? Why would people make a certain amount of money? Mm-hmm. Like a, I guess like a, let's call it a five foot stack, right? Or whatever that was. Why do they start one imme- small Mexican alien size <laughs> stack? <of money>? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Why, when they get to that level of money, do they immediately start dressing like a fucking moron? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> what is? Why do they start wearing chairs on their head? Fifteen chains. Yeah. A jacket that literally looks like you're a, a, a like. A, it's just. It's. Is that fashion? He's wearing a bulletproof vest, but it's a jacket. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that might be very fashion forward. It's not for me. The ski goggles on the side of his head. It's a lot of work. Just to put on those three bracelets. Okay. He literally sat on his laptop in the car, did some kind of scam, and goes right into the bank and gets somebody else's $10,000. And he just uploaded and then he it onto YouTube. It and he raps about it and teaches kids how to do it. How is he... It's like it's a modern day. Uh, Why do you think scamming becomes so popular? <laughs> what do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years to back broke, and then you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long do you guys want to be in the game for Stealing. before you're? I, I want to be like probably 30 then we'll invest. Forever, nigga. 30 then invest. Okay. At least he's thinking about the future. 30 and then I'll, <laughs> 30, then I'll give it to other criminals. Yeah. <laughs> he opens up a Vanguard. <laughs> Yeah, this how this can't be real, though. It can't be real. Let me sniff it to make sure. And then, by the way, they're outside the bank on camera. Literally just like like, like, like holding it up to camera and being like, I got this free. It's still there. He just walked out. We're going to have you a gas station. Wait, so he, he does a different crime, a different con each time, and then makes a song about it to teach him? 
he'll teach is that people Celine Dion? how to do credit card <laughs> he's, skimmers. He's wearing stuff. ski goggles upside down and backwards, <laughs> and he has a gold thing hanging off his neck that is a full human hand holding a credit card machine. <laughs> he's, he's got like the a, face from V for Vendetta. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a, a modern day like ghetto Barney. Yes. You know, he's got the kids, yes. he sings. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't make <laughs> you know, he teaches the kids. Oh my God, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so how much does this cost? It can't be no more than like a hundred. And how much does this major? It's like over five hundred K. So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up using them. Say like I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive through. You say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this. But he I just, just wiped it on the off. Does it matter? He admitted like all guilt. Yeah. The day I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this Hitting from lock on my right account. I didn't even yeah. know there was an option. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? There you go. I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. And the way someone stops this is by he, he's doing a lock public on their bank account, interview. right? Yeah. So as far as scamming goes, are you feel like your NBA level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scamming and Michael Jordan combined. Does yeah. your mother know you're a scammer? No, I tell her I do crypto. Yeah. Right, so now I got the but numbers. I don't get it. What did he do? He swiped his at the same time. It's he, he has somebody working at McDonald's drive through who has a skimmer device that goes to his computer. Okay. And after they run your order at McDonald's, they swipe it there, sends it to his laptop. Oh, he swipes it on a blank got card. Got it. So there's someone at McDonald's that's hiding a skimmer underneath but the counter. It's so nice to have Magic Spoon back, everybody. And I know uh, that I am a fan because cereal uh, is one of my favorite things to eat. It's probably one of my top two favorite breakfast things. If you're a cereal person like me, you love Magic Spoon because the cereal that we used to love and eat as kids, nostalgic as it may be, is just really bad to put in your body. And Magic Spoon is basically, they reinvented your favorite childhood cereals to taste great, but each serving contains zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four to five net carbs per serving, okay? Honey Nut Flavor contains one gram of sugar. That's that's the big thing. It's keto-friendly, it's gluten-free, it's grain-free, it's soy-free, okay? It's that, you, I mean, that's the way to relive those moments while you're watching your favorite cartoons with Magic Spoon. It's only 140 calories per serving. This is like, why did it take so long for something like this to come out? Okay. Magic Spoon took the magic in their cereal and transformed it into the on the go snack, which I swear to God, I opened my cabinet this morning and we had two boxes of that stuff. And I think my girlfriend bought it without even realizing that they are, uh, uh, they'll probably send me some product actually. So, uh, what it was it is they have these brand new treats and you, you know, they're high protein cereal bars for breakfast, dessert, and any time in between. They're just like marshmallow treats that you had as a kid, but with only one gram of sugar, one to two grams of net carbs. They're packed with 11 grams of protein per bar. The treats come in two flavors. I have both marshmallow and chocolatey peanut butter. Whether you like, well, whether you like sticking to the class or trying something new, there's a flavor that you'll love. Head to magicspoon.com slash hey babe to grab a custom bundle of cereal and try the magic for yourself. And don't forget to add their brand new marshmallow and chocolatey peanut butter treats. Be sure to use our promo code, HEYBABE, at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's back with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of cereal at magicspoon.com slash HEYBABE and use the code HEYBABE to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring the episode what's up everybody i am coming to the brea improv i will be there october 13 14 15 outside los angeles we got a thursday we got a friday saturday sunday shows christycomedy.com for tiki wikis then october 18th la vista nevada the 19th kansas city the 20th st louis the 21st hammond indiana and then october 26th to the 28th raleigh north carolina the capital all tickets at christycomedy.com for the love of god buy a goddamn ticket What's up, guys? Real quick, tour dates are on sale right now at SalVolcanoComedy.com. Uh, there's tons of cities up there. Tomorrow night, if you're watching this right now on Hey Babe, tomorrow night I am in Bro Bowling Green, Kentucky on Friday, Cincinnati on Saturday, and Toledo on Sunday. There's still some tickets available, so get those. Uh, following that, we're going to be in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and Wilmington, Delaware. Then we're doing Macon, Savannah, and Athens, Georgia, and so on and so forth. There's a big Illinois run in November leading up to my comedy 
special at the Vic in Chicago on December 1st and 2nd. The second sold out, as you guys, I hopefully know. Uh, and so we added two shows on the first. All will be taped. And all, if you have a ticket to all, any of those shows, you'll be eligible to win uh, a flight, hotel, and trip to the set of Impractical Jokers. I'm choosing one ticket out of those four shows. Uh, December 1st is still on sale right now, but it's going fast. SalvoCanoComedy.com. Hope to see you guys on the road. I think that the reason, a big reason why they do this is because, again, there's what is really the penalty? Let's say they get caught. They're making all this money. What are they going to get? A few days in prison? I heard of a scam. I have a friend, a cop, he told me, told us. He did, they did like a year sting. This guy was posing as a real estate agent, right? And you would ha like send me the first month's rent and deposit. And like you think you're moving from Ohio. You're coming with all your stuff. You move. You get to your place in New York and it doesn't exist. Right. But I, but I stole all your money. He was doing that over and over and over again. They finally caught him. He, they, an undercover, you know, cop caught him, you know, brought him in, you know, like got, got. And then when he showed up. When the when the he told him where to meet him or whatever, they arrested him and he was out of prison in a day. And because it was only offense, he there's no jail time. So he made over the course of two years like two hundred thousand dollars. That's gone now. That's crazy. Not, so it's like so it's like I think these kids do it because it's like what are you gonna like? There is something. I'm not saying to do this, but there is something. There is something. Just hear me out. There is something like where kids are not going to do this in Afghanistan. The Taliban is not going to. If the Taliban finds out you're doing that, you're going to get killed, and they're going to kill your family in front of you. Okay. You're going to get tarred and feathered. You're going to get tarred and feathered. For real, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there is something. But, there is a but, little but, something what is about the, what where was it's the like. Point? I'm not saying. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that our government should be like the Taliban. But I'm just saying <laughs> that if if you introduce just a like, little, you mean like the hey babe. <laughs> if you introduce a little hey babe, if you introduce just a little bit, just one person gets made an example. I'm not saying all, I'm not, maybe not this kid, but I'm just saying you bring out one person, you say, you did this, the other guy's cop, you did this, but here's on. Do you, do you think they're so brazen because essentially in, at the end of the day, they're stealing from an uh, insurance company because that person's going to report it as fraud and they're going to be credited back? That, but I think there's no penalty. They're not going to go to prison. Really? I think the big thing is you're getting your freedom taken away. They're not, that's not going to happen to them. I so mean, what's, I, 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 I I want to see this video that you have up right now, but it's actually distracting me. I was like, you know what? Scammy will take care of itself. But, uh, but I do want to say, do you have that guy's name? And if you throw that name into Google right now, since that video, like, I mean, there's no way, like, you, you can't do the video and then just be like, nah, I'm just good. I, I just. Yeah, wouldn't the CIA and FBI or the FBI it, be like, um, well, now we have him? Immediately. Yeah. I kind of want to follow this dude on TikTok, make some money. Yeah, shut down by he got shut down by YouTube. He can't monetize stuff anymore. Uh. They're interviewing the wire wire fraud tutorial video. Wait, arrested? It said it right there. They're saying how isn't Punch Made Dev in jail yet? Right. He doesn't actually scam. If he did, he'd be in jail. He has a telegram, which is how he actually scams. He sells methods in which you pay him to learn how to scam, but he just scams you in the end. <laughs> Pretty smart, because who's going to tell the cops I got scammed by a guy while trying to scam? <laughs> Holy I'm actually shit. back in on this kid, and I oh actually my am back. God. I'm a fan. And I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually a fan. Not only what am I in. Not only am I in, but I'm going to start emulating this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's actually kind of cool what he does with his fashion. Yes. <laughs> That's Wait, crazy. That's like the guy at FedEx that opened the box, took half my marijuana, and mailed me the other half. <laughs> yeah, because he knew I wouldn't call because I can't. You're already involved in a crime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Just oh my god. Oh, what do okay. we got? Golf swing in somebody's butt? It's just, it just you and a hat, man. I'm not a hat guy. It really makes me laugh, dude. I'm not a hat guy. You're, you're not. I'm trying to. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out: is it is it you don't normally wear a hat, so it's me adjusting to you in a hat, or that the hat you need a very specific hat? I think I have a very specific head, as we've talked about earlier. My ears are too far set back, and I don't think I have a good hat head. Yeah, there's it's, plastic surgery for that too. Is there a plastic <laughs> surgery to get your head reshaped? Crani cranial shrunk. Uh, cranium I, I mean, because you know, because your hair is short right now, so you do look like a child. Right. Oh, that that yeah, I like it back. That doesn't. That works. Backwards works. But I can't be thirty nine with the hat like this. Sure, you can. Yeah. No, you don't. I don't know if you need to 
Not the tilt. Uh, yeah, the tilt, but put it backward for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the tilt. <laughs> I like the tilt. That for Here some reason that looks that looks normal. Not bad. But every other way it looks like you need a chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, back to the butt cheeks. Yeah, what is this? Oh. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa! It's Whoa! Oh. That's the most fascinating <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Sick. I had an inkling that that was, is what was going to happen in the first one, but I thought it was just going to whip her in the ass. I was like, there's no way she'll catch it in those, Holy in, those shit. In, in that trunk. There you go. And then when she did it again and again, three for three, they really, that was a real roller coaster ride. The more Because you don't know those other cheeks are there. <laughs> no. The more this video loops, the straighter I get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but not for nothing. You imagine you, there's a lot of pressure on that list, those last two yeah. cheeks. <laughs> you gotta go three by three. A lot of pressure there, dude. Because if those other two girls, shaking. they take a drive, a golf ball drive to the hole at three feet away, just one Mexican alien's length away. And they, they, they go through that right now. You know what they're feeling like right now? They're just like, please, that third girl, man, if she up that's where the term uh, hole in one came from <laughs> also not for nothing but she's got a lot of pressure on her too the one doing the drive oh yeah and she's off by she's even very an, good an inch to the left or right she's there gonna it is. she's hole great in one. form it's not even good form Anthony. though look at that front i don't oh, wait. know if it is good form it must it i feel like she's got she's good hands it. the legs are a little rough let's just say this is, is this but is this cgi it might know. be. I would. I would like Let to be there Anthony, for this. Yes. What's as a as a <laughs> gay man? I've never wanted a front row seat to anything as a more gay in my man, life. What is to the gay community, to the gay male community? What's the equivalent of boobs? Because I know butts. I'm sure you look at a guy's butt. Like we look at a butt. We a woman has a butt and boobs. What does the guy have in place of boobs? See, one thing that I've learned is everybody's uh, tastes are so different. They all like very. Very, very different things. Sometimes it's strange. Sometimes it's pretty normal. Butts, penises, but then there's like muscles. But some people like girth and like right. bears. It's there's really I don't so think there's, there's no dead on equivalent to titties. I don't think so. Like what can you? <laughs> 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 okay. You know, I just never thought about that. You just got two is, things. The breast and is then... sexualized, whereas the female, uh, the male pectoral is not necessarily it's not sexualized sexy. in that way. Right. Uh, it depends but, though, because I get many messages that want to like rub my chest and right. my arms and stuff. Chest, yeah. chest is a chest, of course. Muscle worship. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah, yeah no yeah. muscles, I get, but I didn't know like it's you know. You know, you always be asked, are you a boobs guy or a butt guy? <laughs> you don't know muscle worship? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, thinking about you jacked would be, that would blow my mind. Like if you came in absolutely like cock diesel, yeah, yeah. like if you had a body like Anthony, can't, can't, I, I don't know that I would be able to handle it. Can't imagine, I can't imagine it myself. <laughs> I kind of want somebody, Google no pressure network at gmail.com. I want you to put Sal's head on Anthony's body. <laughs> and I want you to send it to us. In addition to your alles, uh, what, uh, lesbian, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly uh, photos. That's a fun game. I think we should play that Allegedly game. is a new segment that I'm happy when it happens naturally. Look at this idiot. TSA agent caught stealing money from passengers' luggage at Miami Airport. What, how do you think, what do you think is, you know what that means? He must know that the, the cameras are not constantly monitored only when there's an incident. Because otherwise he wouldn't do that. He knows that there's a camera there. To be fair, the dumbass left his cash out in the bin. It looks like he is that what it what I'm seeing here? Yeah, I think he went into a pocket. Oh, he's doing it to more than one. Right. Oh, I look it looked like it was like out. What well, what what is the issue? Like if you're gonna be go through the training and, and hold a job that has some type of uh, authority to it. I mean, how are you? How are you then going to turn around and just steal out of? I lost bags? faith in the TSA. I don't know if you remember the cell. We were walking through the airport. You and I. I want to call. I think it was Columbus, Ohio. It, and it, there was a female TSA agent that literally. I think it was Atlanta. Oh, was that Atlanta? She was like, she had the phone in your face, and she was like, "Yo, say hello to my girlfriend." <laughs> yeah. She was like, "You need to say hello to my girlfriend," and literally was standing and say hello to my girlfriend and I walked through security without having any of my bags checked because she was distracted and I just walked through and I was kind of upset for him because I was like this got to be well, then so didn't annoying. She walk with, was that another time? Then she no. Then she, she kept just, walking with like us. To the L -S -L escalator. And, yeah, and <laughs> fully left her post. And I'm like, seven people just walked in because you wanted to make her send a video to you, her girlfriend. Yeah. And I'm like, 
What is this? Isn't real? Like they, they're not qualified. I just had a TSA agent hold up the line to come chase after me to scissor me. Really? I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. Well, that I get. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, wow. That's That's all the it. things That's at fun, night, man. and then. I don't know. These guys, I don't think they do their, their job too well because once I flew with you a full-on <laughs> kitchen knife, like a steak knife, no I, I was at my parents' house. I had dinner on like one of the TV trays, and I guess my bag was open, and it fell directly into my, my, my carry-on wrestling bag. I flew, connecting flights and all. Nothing. I opened it up. There's a steak steak knife wow. in there. Wow. A full, ste- full steak knife. Did you just leave it in the hotel? Did you try to bring it back? <laughs> I discarded it. Right. Yeah, I don't need a steak knife on the way back. Holy shit. Yeah, see, that's scary. Yeah, that is. Because it's like, you know, but I think that I was told by my friend who works for the airlines that really, like, obviously there's things like that that happen, but really if anything's going to, God forbid, happen on a plane, it's going to be in from internal. Like, you can go in, like, the people that work for the airlines, like, say, the food People that put the food on the plane, they don't even go through any security. They come in through like a back door. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm between this and the Mexican aliens. I'm getting heart, heart palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you put, putting these seeds in my head. We gotta we gotta fly every goddamn weekend. We gotta start driving. I can't see <laughs> Let's drive everywhere. You're, Sacramento, I'm coming. I thought about Ralphie May in it. Seriously, I thought about just getting a bus like Nate does and just don't get on a flight. On Bur- again. Burt Kreischer, Burt's bus. I, I went on Burt. I saw Burt Kreischer's bus a couple weeks yeah. ago. Fantastic, beautiful. Yeah, you just what you got to do is just put all your dates at one time, right? And then you then you could justify. You got to be away from I the fam for a bit. Yeah, Wait, yeah, you don't yeah. have a bus at all? Uh, when we do bus tours, but in general, I'm just away like every other weekend. Oh, okay. But sometimes I'll do like two, three weeks in a row and take a bus. But I haven't done that in quite a bit. But What's the longest amount of time you've been away from your house on your wrestling tour? Uh, this past seven weeks, I was home for maybe a day and a half combined. No way, dude. That's tough. Do you get like, do you ever like, are you ever on the road, like feeling like you're going to cry because you don't want to go do any more, do this anymore? Not because you don't want to do this anymore, but you're like, I can't travel. I I just want to be in one place. Well, he's also a young guy, not, not, not a family and stuff, you know? True. I I started feeling that. Like you started feeling that. Yeah. Right. That's true. Yeah. Later in life. Yeah. Yeah, he's a piece of piece of shit. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The only time it really starts getting to me, I mean, I feel bad I leave Michael alone because he's, you know, he's, well, I mean, he's busy. But when I start waking up in the hotel and I don't know where I am, I immediately just start freaking out. Those are the scariest moments for me. I don't know. I mean, I figure it out in like maybe 30 seconds, but I'm just like, (gasps) I get like heart palpitations. Like, where the fuck am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) I had that a lot. That's something you couldn't prepare for. Like, you had to train all those years. Uh, and go to school and stuff, but like you never really got a hint of this kind of travel until you just start, right? And then you're just thrust into it because, mm-hmm. like, you you're thrust into it in a way that even a comic isn't, right. because our our road stuff is a gradual build and yeah. it's still not at the consistency in which you perform, which is uh, sometimes a few days a week, every single week, right? Right? So, Comics were pretty much gone on the weekends, and then that's it. We're home, but mm. you're gone for. Weeks without coming home once. I, the, only, the time I did come home was uh, we were in Chicago for All Out, but I, I had to do a shoot, and the only way I could do it was if I flew back to L.A., did the shoot, and then hopped right back on the plane back to Chicago, yeah. and then straight to, like, ID shoots. Yeah. So it was it was a brutal schedule. It's all back to normal now, but yeah. it was pretty fucking rough. Yeah, but when you first started, you <clears> must have <throat> been like, oh, man, like, this is... I, I didn't like this is part of it, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of expected it. Like yeah, our yeah. schedule isn't as bad as WWE's at times, okay. but um, that's one of the better things about being an AEW too is it's a little bit of a lighter schedule. We can kind of be home, but between All In and in, in, in London, and then uh, pay per view being the following week, and then we have a third show, Collision. So we're on and the acclaimed are on all of them, really. That's crazy. So man. it's it's a lot to manage, but we're we're figuring it out. Yeah, and shout out to the acclaimed. Three shout out to the acclaimed. Three years champs. You right gotta now. you gotta have a lot of energy. To do this. Daddy S, Max Caster. Love Daddy S. Love you guys. Um, everyone loves the acclaimed. Yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone does, does love, love the acclaimed. acclaimed. I love everyone does the acclaimed. The it's other a, it's night, a great tag my one. daughter will wear, my eight-year-old will wear my shirts to bed. Like, that's just what she's comfortable in. She just doesn't have pajamas. She wears my shirts, and she was wearing the Scissor Daddy shirt to bed. Yes! that This exact shirt. And then <laughs> and then my, you know, Jasmine, her mom, when she woke up in the morning at breakfast, like she was like, is that is this inappropriate? And I was like... <laughs> She's the fucking tag team champ. Who cares? <laughs> uh, plugs, but um, but make sure what? you watch Not AEW but. Dynamite Wednesday night on TBS at 8 p.m. AEW Rampage 10 p.m. on Friday nights TNT AEW Collision Saturday nights 8 p.m. and make sure you follow me Instagram and Twitter at Bones underscore official TikTok. I'm new on it. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but follow me <laughs> at Bones underscore. 
30, official 37. There you go, bud. That's it. Don't get scammed. Don't, <laughs> Don't get, scammed. get scammed. Thank you, bud, so much. Thank Great you, bro. Thank you. Oh, wait, should I end this the same, same yes, way? Yes, please. Yes, yes okay. please. Take us out. So I have to ask, Chris, Sal, please throw your scissors in the air. Get ready, man. And I'm going to throw my voice out and not have it <laughs> for the show on Wednesday. <laughs> but scissor me, Chrissy and Sal! <laughs> 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 Dude, that is second maybe only to drinking a beer with Stone Cold. That's where to go. <laughs> That's pretty cool, <laughs> That's too. <laughs> Love it. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away.